Uh, I think the delegates are very enthusiastic to learn and share cases. Um, the Greek audience, they like asking questions and they, they don't just sit there taking the lectures. So it's been quite interactive. And I've met some ophthalmologists here, which is very good. And what do you think is the most challenging case that you have uh, dealt uh, with? Ooh. The most challenging case, uh, probably the one that Professor Tufail presented um, with his uh, dome-shaped maculopa. Professor Tufail loves to present extremely rare cases that almost nobody else has ever seen, but that was very interesting. So. But in everyday clinical everyday, practice? Um, well, I was presenting a lecture of, about the, the challenges of, of diagnosis for inflammatory eye disease. Um, and that is a big challenge, particularly for a lot of Greek ophthalmologists who are, who are in sort of general ophthalmic practice, because they don't always have the uh, specialist backup of tests and investigations. So I hope the lecture was well received. I think it was, but it was more practical advice about making a diagnosis in uveitis. I would like to ask you, is there something that a uh, common population should do so that we can preserve our eye health uh, sure. as more. Yeah. I'm, I'm also a glaucoma specialist and I'll tell you one, probably the most important thing is to go to see a, an ophthalmologist or an optometrist once a year uh, for an eye pressure check and a general screen. Um, and the reason being that glaucoma is quite a common condition and most people don't realize they have it. So you should go to have a yearly checkup what age should we start? Uh, probably from the age of about 35 onwards. Or, yeah, if there's, fa if there's a family history of glaucoma, um, certainly from 40 onwards. Uh, and also, not to smoke. That's the second biggest thing you can do. So, uh, I don't know what smoking rates are like in Greece, but um, we should encourage all our patients to give up smoking.